everyone so now we are doing the one mini project here i already designed some topology you can see here this is the isp we are calling this is our company router and in between the isp and, and our company router we are going to use 200.1.1.1 here and 200.1.1.2 here and this side we will use 192.168.1.2 here and 1.1 here and we will use the VLAN 10 and 20 here if you see we have the VLAN 10 name is IT and IP we are using 192.168.10.0 subnet and here I will write VLAN 20 we will use as in uh, name as we will use as a HR and subnet we are going to use 192.168.20.0 slash 24 okay so this is our project here you need to configure the VLAN we need to do the inter VLAN we need to do the uh, DSCP then we need to enable the OSPF we need to create the default route we need to forward the traffic here and we need to do the NAT configuration here so this all configuration we need to do so let me start from here so I will go from this switch and I hope you you understand this one right this is a switch one this is a switch 2 and uh, here you have the R1 so this is a multi layer switch in our company this is our company router and this is a axis layer switch in our company so first I will do here in the axis layer switch I will configure I will write the name host name I will give and then I will create the VLAN 10 name I will give as a IT and then VLAN 20 I will create name I will give as a HR so these two VLAN I created I will use the interface this if you see this interface F0 by 1 F0 by 2 these two interface I need to put in the VLAN 10 so I will write I will write here interface range f0 by 1 dash 2 then I will write switch port mode axis then I will write here switch port axis VLAN 10 so I put this more this port in VLAN 10 then I will write interface range f0 by 3 dash 4 and I will write here switch port mode axis and switch port axis VLAN 20 so I put this port are in VLAN 20 if you want to check we can check I will write here show VLAN brief and we can see here this is for VLAN 10 and this is for VLAN 20 we have here ok so this one in the switch 1 configuration we need to do this F0 by 5 as a trunk so let me configure that one also interface F0 by 5 I will write here switch port mode trunk so I configure the trunk also if you want to check you can write show interface trunk so this one is configured as a trunk so switch 1 configuration is completed here now I will go to switch 2 in this one we will do this is a multi layer switch I need to enable the layer 3 feature here so first I will go here in the enable mode I will change the name of the switch as a switch 2 I will write IP routing to enable the layer 3 feature so I can do the inter VLAN and I will create the VLAN 10 name is IT name I will give as a IT then I will create the VLAN 20 name I can give as a HR so I created two VLAN if you see do show VLAN brief so we have the two VLAN and here what I will do I will write interface F0 by 1 ok this one because you see this interface F0 by 1 I need to make this one as a trunk so I will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q switch port mode trunk and after that what I will do I will write interface interface VLAN 10 ok I will do here IP address I am doing the SVI IP address uh, 192.168.10.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and I will write no shirt then I will do the inter VLAN for VLAN 20 also I will put IP address 192.168.20.1.255.255.255.0 0 uh, let me check again here interface VLAN 20 and I need to write here this IP and no shut here so if you write do show IP interface brief you can see here this one we assign the gateway these are the ok and after that what else we need to do here I need to assign the IP to the interface F0 by 2 this interface ok here and here and we need to enable the OSPF so here I will write uh, no switch port then only I can assign the IP so IP we can assign here whatever we put here 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write here no shirt 
okay so what i done here f0 by 0 yeah i done this one and i what else i need to do i need to enable the ospf so i will write router ospf1 network network id 192.168 1.0 wildcard mask 0.0.255 area 0 this is for this ip and we need to do same thing for vlan 10 also so this one is for vlan 10 and we need to do same thing for vlan 20 subnet also so i will do this one vlan 20 subnet also okay so now i need to do the dscp configuration ip dscp pool vlan 10 i will write so this will be for vlan 10 network 192.168.10.0 and subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and default router will be gateway whatever the gateway we configure that is 10.1 okay and dns if you need we don't have any dns if you need you put dns also this is a vlan 10 and then i will write ip dscp ip ds ip dscp exclude which ip you don't want to give because i will reserve some ip so later we can use that one so here i will say this ip will be reserve reserve ip dscp exclude means this ip will not give the dscp server 10.1 to 10.10 it will be reserved for future use so here for vlan 20 also i will do that one so here i will change this one so this is for vlan 20 now i will do the ip dscp pool pool for vlan 20 and here i will write network 192.168. Dot 20.0 and then 255.255.255.0 and i will write default router 192.168.20.1 okay and if you want to give the dns also you can write the dns ip whatever you want to give this is a dscp configuration we done here dscp configuration we done here i will save the configuration and if you want to make sure dscp is working or not you can check here click here and wait and check so see here 10.11 10.1 so dscp is working here do the same thing here if you see here also 10.2 well dscp working and here if you check and let's see dscp working here yes 20.11 and here also if you go and check here check here 20.2 well so dscp is working now i will go to this router and we need to assign the ip address here let's go here and do i will write no enable config t host name r1 and then interface f0 by 1 here we will assign the ip address 200.1.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut and then interface f0 by 0 i will write here ip address 192.168. 1.2 give space to 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here okay and then what we will do we will write here router ospf 1 and then i will uh, put one interface 192.168.1.0 give 0.0.0.255 area 0 okay area give space 0 so here i enable the ospf here we will create the default route so i will write here a default route we need to create so ip route 0.0.0 then 0.0.0 next hop is 200.1.1.2 this is the default route and here also in the router ospf1 we need to write default information originate so this will send the default route to here and in r2 we need to configure because r2 is isp router but we don't have any isp so we need to configure here so here just you need to assign the ip so first i will write here host name is isp1 and then interface f0 by 0 and you write ip address 200.1.1.2 give space to 255.255.255.0 and write no shut and you will write here exit interface loopback 0 we will say this one as a internet we can say ip address 8.8.8 and give subnet mask this one so this we can ping and we can check this is a loopback interface we are using as a google server okay this one we are using as a google server 
what else we can say we can say that one okay so here everything is good but here we need to do the NAT configuration also if you see here we need to select the traffic so you write IP we need to use access list one permit VLAN 10 traffic I am selecting 10.0 wildcard mass 255 okay so this is a VLAN 1 traffic we selected and then sorry VLAN 10 traffic we selected and VLAN 20 traffic I selected so we need to do the NAT here okay without NAT the private IP cannot go on the internet if you want to translate the private IP into public IP we cannot do with the without NAT so what we need to do we need to do the NAT so NAT configuration is simple only first you need to select the traffic so VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 traffic I selected here after that what I will do I will do here IP NAT insight source uh, list uh, one because list one we are using an interface which is connecting towards the ISP so this is the interface connecting to ISP we will write overload okay I am writing here if you see here first I selected these two network because VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 traffic in the access list one then after that IP net inside source list this list we are calling and this is the interface which is facing towards the ISP this is our ISP and here you will write the overload after that you need to go under the interface and you need to write like interface F0 by 1 you need to write IP NAT outside and then you have another interface F0 by 0 you will write here IP NAT inside that's all this is the configuration after that we can ping and we can check let's go here and ping 8.8.8 .8 and check it is working or not it should work let's see if it is working our lab successfully completed see here it is working PC 0 is communicating the internet and then let's check PC 1 can ping or not we can check ping 8.8.8.8 PC 1 is also working and I can take here and ping here 8.8.8.8 this is also working and if I go here and ping this one also ping 8.8.8.8 it is also working so all my computer is accessing the internet this is a mini project a small company network we can say if you need this topology join our telegram channel we are sharing this in our telegram channel this topology okay thank you bye